Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to make the Fratical Trees project. Now let's get started. So first, you want to right click on the cat, it'll drop down a menu, and it'll click on delete, and then the cat's going to be gone. And then this might take a part two, so look at my other part two video, if there is going to be one. Now we go to the sprites library. You, these are all the sprites here. You want to click on the yellow ball. Double click it. You'll see it will appear on the stage. Go to its costumes. Now, see there is a lot of costumes here. Go to ball D. It'll turn green. Now go on the scripts menu. And then go to the data uh, list and then make three vertebrals angle length and shrink factor so first we start with angle and then press ok and then make length And then make another one, shrink factor, Oops. And then press OK for this. Now we have our three vertebrals. Now go to the events section. Click on grab the when this click button. OK, I'll go in. See when this clicked. Oops, too small. There. There. Now go to, cl go to the pen section. Find clear, then pen up, and then go to the motion section, and then, I mean, go to the look section, and then get the set size to 100, but we don't want the 100, that'd be too big, so click on it, it'll turn black, then type in 10, and then click on the board there. Go to your bit data, and then go get this set shrink factor thing. Get the drop down menu, set it to angle, and then yeah, keep it okay. Get and type in thirty. Next, do the same thing, but with the length, and set it to. Um, 90, do the same with the shrink factor, and then set it to 0 0.75, and then there, then go to the blue motion section, and then get the, go to X, negative 38 and y negative 31 and then change that the x to 0 and then the y to negative 170 and then get point in direction 0 put that there and then get the pen Oh, I clicked on data. And then click on this color block. And then it'll eventually change color wherever you click. Then click on what color you want. And then set it over here. Then get set pen size to 9. And then get the pen down. And then go to the events, and then you'll draw a new message, or write, and then 
It's going to be called the uh, draw branch. Click OK and then put it over here. And then get a repeat 8 block. Click 8. And then get another new message. It's going to be called split branch. It's going to be called split branch. Click OK. And then get broadcast split branch and wait. Go to the data section. And then get set shrink factor and then change it to um, length. And then get the operators block. Hold on. Okay, Mom, I was just in the middle of taking a video. I was just in the middle of taking a video. So, can I finish my video? A scratch video? Okay. Okay, I'm back. Oops. Now, Get this little. What? Literally. Now I'm back once again. So get the third operator block, put it in the zero section, and then get go to the data and get length. Oops. Length. And then get another shrink factor. And then go to your events. And then broadcast draw branch and wait. And then you can clean it up if you want to. And then make this script. When I receive draw branch, move 10 steps. But you want to put a data block in there. And it's going to be called length. And then you change pen color by 5. Change and then put it over here, and then you're gonna get change pen size by minus one or negative one. And then negative one. And then that's going to be done, and then this is what happens. But you're supposed to have another script, so it turns into a tree. And you can add different angles to make it look like a different tree. And then get when I receive split branch, and then you want a motion block, and then put it over here. Get data. And then get to the control section. Go to create a clone of myself. And then turn this way. Get this one. And then we're not going to put it on here because you need two of them. And then 
get an angle block and then duplicate it by right clicking it and then clean it up by right clicking on the stage and then press the clean up button and you'll, it'll end up like this or other position click the green flag and watch what happens you can add there you can make it um, angle 90 and watch what happens if you have a protractor at home you can you can use the different angles to create different bushes or trees and stuff. I'm just going to set it back to 30 to keep it original. <coughs> Sorry. And then you are done the project. And then, well, you're almost done. Just right click on the slider, I mean, and then click slider and do the same up for length. And then there, press the green flag. And that's what happens when it's all zero. And then you can set it back. By changing this back to 30. 90 and 0 0.75 and then you are done click the share button rename it I'm just going to name it random stuff so blah 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 and then start and once they click the flag the tree will appear Now, that's it. Do you want to see some more of my other scratch videos? Now just come on to my studio and I'll show you them.